After finishing this video, you would have learned to set up your Unity scene with the plane detection feature of AR Foundation. Alright, so here I have the same scene open from the previous video. Now before we make any changes, let's go ahead and duplicate this and call this as plane detection. Open this scene and select the cube and delete it. Now implementing plane detection is really simple. All you need to do is select the XR origin, add a component called as AR Plane Manager. Now the AR Plane Manager is going to manage all the planes that have been detected and it needs a plane prefab so that you can see exactly those planes in AR and the detection mode can be either horizontal, vertical or both. So we're going to leave it at everything for now. Now to create a plane prefab, you can right click on your hierarchy, select XR and select AR default plane. Now this is going to create a game object with several components. The first component is the AR plane. Now this is going to represent the plane that has been detected by your device. Now in order to see that detected plane, it needs a component called as AR plane mesh visualizer. Now the AR plane mesh visualizer uses the mesh tenderer and the mesh filter components to visualize it. And then we have the mesh collider as well, so that if you're using Raycast and you want to get back information, you can use a mesh collider for that. And then finally, we have the line renderer. So the line renderer is going to be used to draw the boundary of your uh, detected planes. Now we need to convert this into a prefab. So let's go back to assets, right click, create a folder called as prefabs, open it up and drag and drop the AR default plane in here and delete it from the hierarchy. Now select the XR origin once again, drag and drop this inside the plane prefab parameter. Save the scene and with that we have the plane detection scene set up. Now all we need to do is click on file, build settings, add to open scene, let's remove the sample scene and click on build and run. Let's name this as plane detection and click on save. Okay, so here I have my build ready. Now as you can see, it's slowly detecting the vertical walls and as I scan the floor, it detects the horizontal plane as well. Now, after scanning the room for a couple of minutes, it's able to drag almost all the vertical and horizontal planes. Now, if you'd like to change the way your AR plane looks, you can do that as well. In the asset folder, right click, click on create and select material. Call this material as plane material and select the rendering mode as transparent. Let's select a color of your choice and make sure that the alpha is less than 80. Then select the AR default plane Scroll down till you find the mesh renderer and then just replace the debug plane with the material that you created just now. Also, you can uh, change the line renderer. So right now it was black. I probably have it as pretty red. And that's it. So now if you go to File, Build Settings, click on Build and Run and let's replace it. And now when you test the application by scanning your room, you should be able to see the AR planes in the material of your choice. Alright, so that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.